for uh, joining us today. Uh, this uh, press conference is all about transparency in government and the exciting uh, topic of um, general obligation bond issues. Uh, so currently in Ohio, let me talk about cur currently what is done. Let me talk about then what the bill does and then why it's so important uh, for the state of Ohio. So currently, when the, the governments, um, local municipalities, uh, political subdivisions, or even the state of Ohio, we want to put, um, we want to borrow some money to make uh, general improvements or permanent improvements, we have to issue what's called general obligation bond uh, to finance this. And to do this, um, you know, a local subdivision will have to pass some legislation first, which will outline what it's for, you know, what are we going to spend the money on? Why is it needed? How much is it? Uh, when is it going to be issued? What's the term of the bond? What's the expected interest rate? Uh, so there's some general information about that particular issuance of debt, which is good and absolutely necessary. Um, but, however, here's the situation. You know, what we believe is that the, the voters need more information than that to make really an informed decision. Um, and, and the, inf the information that we believe that the voters need will be how much current debt exists, how much outstanding debt is there, and what does that mean on a per capita basis? I mean, that's what we do as individuals, as families, when, you know, if we need to borrow some money, you know, we consider, well, how much debt do we already have, you know, uh, so, and then you can take it all into consideration, and it's the really, truly the big picture. Um, so, so our um, legislation that we have just introduced, uh, we have eight co-sponsors, and it just was dropped off at the clerk's office yesterday. We don't have a bill number yet, but hopefully we'll soon. Um, basically requires that this a political subdivision in their legislation adds all this additional information, which is the, um, you know, how much existing debt is there and how much is that per person. Um, and uh, that they have to continue to post that on the, the newspaper. But even beyond that, we're saying, you know what? People get information from news newspapers, but even more so, uh, people are getting information online. So this legislation also requires that we post this online. For political subdivisions, it would be at the local county or the county boards of elections. Uh, and if they don't have a website, then it's at um, Ohio's public notice website, which is like a Ohio, help me out here, Ohio, dot public notice dot, we'll, we'll get that to you exactly what it is. Um, so we're getting the information out there in advance. And the whole, the whole purpose of this is to increase transparency to inform the voters so that they can make a comprehensive decision. Uh, I would very much like to thank uh, Treasurer Mandel for, uh, you know, his, he and his office brought this issue to my attention. I think it's a very fiscally responsible piece of legislation, so I'd like to thank uh, them for bringing this forward. And uh, also my aide, uh, Jenna Beadle, for all of her work on this as well. I'd like for a moment just to hear, uh, let you hear from Treasurer Mandel on this, uh, and then we'll be happy to take any questions at that time.